Welcome to day 32 of the 100 day outfit challenge. Now one thing I would like to say before I show you my outfit is why did I decide to do this when the summer sales were coming up? I have been flooded with emails today from different online um, sites that I'm signed up to telling me about their summer sales and I'm so sick of it. It's like, you know, the donkey with the carrot like dangling in front of them they just can't get to. Um, but I've held strong, I haven't bought anything. Um, but oh my god, I'm just... <sighs> Alright, so anyway, I will show you what I'm wearing today and then I've got a few little quick things to talk about. So today I went to town, um, I did some grocery shopping and posted some things at the post office and that was really about it. So I'll show you my outfit. I wore this black dress which I got back home at a place called Alley Fashion. Now I love this dress, it's got it's got no sleeves on it um, and I think it's very office like but I kind of like to wear it anyway because it's very simple and I can kind of wear anything I want with it. Then I've got on some black tights, I've got on this cardigan that my mum got me for Christmas from Cotton On and I've got on my new necklace nice to see me wearing a little bit of jewellery and then my watch on my Pandora. Now one thing I want to show you about my necklace which I'm not quite sure you're going to be able to see it's still working. I actually figured that it glows in the dark so I'm going to see if I can show you it. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it or not. I don't know if you can see that. If you can, great. If you can't then I've just made a total fool of myself. But it actually glows in the dark which I think is just absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know why but I do. So, you know, if you ever get lost in the dark, you've got a compass that glows in the dark. Any bet? Could you get anything better? I don't think so. Anyway, booties, which are my chop shop ones, you've seen them before. And then I carried this little vintage purse, which I got at a charity shop um, sometime last year, towards the end of last year. It's this really nice, like, burgundy red colour. Love it. Never really used it before, though, but I really love the interior of it. It's amazing. Let me just show you. Um, if I can show you that, there's nothing really in there, but I can't see there because that's leather there, but just, ah, <laughs> inside, can you see, like, the, the like, yellowy, mustard-coloured stuff? It's nice, very nice. Okay, so one other thing I want to show you that I got on the weekend, I work weddings, as you guys all know, and if you don't, well, surprise, I work in the wedding industry, and the other... Saturday night, there was a wedding and the DJ made balloon flat, balloon animals, etc. for children. And because I'm a little bit of a child, which you can probably tell by being excited about a girl in the dark necklace, he made me this. I was so happy. It has busted a little bit, but that's fine. But it's, yeah, I love, I love balloons. That's all I, you know, I love, love, love balloons. I've even asked for some balloons for my birthday because I just love balloons. So that's my balloon flower. Um... This must be the only thing I have to talk about them. Okay, so on um, yesterday on Twitter, um, some girls were talking about British strawberry and clotted cream sandwiches from Tesco. Now, I'm not quite sure. I think it must be a British thing. Please tell me if there's any kind of meaning around this down below. But then when we were in Tesco today, I thought, hey, what the hell, let me find one of these and try it because... It kind of sounds pretty gross to me, so it's British strawberries and clotted cream on poppy seed bread. So I, I only presume it's a very British thing because of the packaging. I mean, look at the packaging on it. And that's it in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try this for you guys, um, so you can see my reaction on the video. Why not? They will be out for the day in an eating sandwich. Well, thank you very much Tesco, your packaging is fantastic. It just rips to pieces. Oh, shit. I mean, the idea of, like, the word clotted cream kind of makes my... Oh, there we go. That's... Oh, Alex, if you open it the right way, it actually does open. Oh, this is going to be a long video of me just opening a freaking sandwich. All right. So, let's take one out. Just the words clotted cream kind of, like, make me want to be sick, but... Let's have a look inside. Oh, this is not going to... He's not going to make me want to eat it anymore. Okay, so... That's what it looks like inside. Just a bit... Iffy. Alright. Let's give this a go. <laughs> let's hope I don't like feel the urge to spit it back out, because otherwise it's going to be a bit of an issue. It's actually 
alright. It's like sweet cream. I just didn't know what clotted cream was. It just sounds like, you know, cream is left in the sun for two days. I'm sorry. I'm speaking with my mouth open. It's alright. It's kind of like... The cream tastes like the cream you'd find on a cheesecake. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it again, but it's okay. So tell me, what's the, what's the idea behind these sandwiches, if you know? Tell me down below, whether you're British or whether you're not, tell me what's the, what's the idea behind the clotted cream and strawberry sandwiches. Um, one other thing I would quickly want to show you, hold on. I painted my nails today, oops, sorry, the camera just shook like a madman there. I painted my nails today, there they are. I paint my nails almost every day, I'm not working. Hopefully you can see those. So today I used a mixture of Barry M's mushroom, which I wasn't pleased about when I got it. Like it came out and it was all the rage. And it took me ages to find this nail polish. And then I just was like, oh, it's not that fantastic. So I used that as the base. And then over that I used one of my China Glaze Crackle Polishes in Tarnished Gold. Which again is that really glittery gold crackle. So I think they look absolutely fantastic. So, sorry, excuse me. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this outfit post. If you're in Tesco, pick up one of these sandwiches. They're okay. They're nothing fantastic. Well, I don't know. But if you do know the story about them, please tell me. So until next time, I'm Alex, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.